Warden Abbey is an important monastic foundation. It was started in 1135 as a daughter house or offshoot of Revo Abbey in Yorkshire and became a powerful presence in the area until, of course, the dissolution when Henry VIII sold it to one of his courtiers. It was then demolished and turned into a country house, but ultimately neglected and fallen into ruins and largely demolished in the 19th century. Probably the most obvious feature of the building in a sense of looking at it from afar because it caps the whole thing and crowns it. It's a classic Tudor chimney. We can see some of the horns that we're talking about and particularly where they've been broken slightly here and these are the sort of defects that we're looking to address at this level. Chimneys like this were the thing to have in the Tudor period and this chimney would have been an expensive thing to build and to have had several of them would have shown your status and how rich and powerful and influential you were. We're very fortunate here in that we've got the repairs being done by a very experienced craftsman, Lynn Mathias and his firm Mathias Restoration. We've been doing this for around about over 30 years now and my son has recently joined us and continuing the work of my father and really all the work we do is on properties like this one. You know we spend most of our time repairing and conserving the historic properties of this country. The bricks we're using, where we're having to renew bricks, are coming from the Bulmer Brick and Tile Company in Suffolk near Sudbury, where one of the last remaining handmade brick firms in the country. Here at Bulmer, continuing use of traditional techniques is important to us. It's trying to maintain those and carry them on in, in the present day. The way we make bricks at Bulmer is by accessing and using clays that are between 25 and 40 million years old. They're dug once a year, so we have a stockpile of about two years worth of clay. We're often with these things reinventing the past again. We're just rediscovering something that was done, done maybe a thousand years ago that we suddenly realise is quite a good idea if we bring it up to date. I think the most enjoyment and pleasure I get, you, you get to touch a bit of history in a way that most people don't. I think as architect for the project, what I've aimed to do is to bring this to a state of good repair. And all this has been possible because uh, the, the large government grant to Historic England, which is being shared in many properties throughout the country, like this one, but all aiming towards keeping together the sort of heritage we have in this country. 